America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the legacy of John Adams. John Adams lost the presidential election of 1800 to Thomas Jefferson after a bitter fight. Adams retired to Quincy, Massachusetts, where he spent his time working his farm and staying out of politics. On July 4, 1826, our nation's 50th birthday, John Adams, this supreme patriot, passed away. From 1775 to 1800, Adams had devoted his life to serving his beloved country. In 1775, at the Second Continental Congress, Adams got our Declaration of Independence unanimously approved and George Washington named the commander of the Continental Army. In 1782, when our nation was close to bankruptcy, Adams obtained a loan from Dutch bankers to keep our government afloat. In 1783, Adams, along with John Jay, secured very favorable terms from the British in the Treaty of Paris, officially ending the American Revolution. In 1789, he became our first vice president, a role he helped develop for the others that came after him. And in 1797, Adams became the president of the nation he loved so much. John Adams once famously stated, sink or swim, live or die, survive or perish, I am with my country. His record proves him out. So, why should John Adams' legacy matter to us today? John Adams was an incredibly gifted man who always put his country first. Except for George Washington, John Adams did more to create and shape our great nation than any other founding father. John Adams was there at virtually every critical event in our nation's formative years and he helped make America a better place. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.